Liam Treadwell, two is Shanahan's Turn, Brian Cooper, three Festival Festive Affair, Aidan Coleman, and four Do It For The Village, Paddy Brennan. Five is Exitas, who we saw winning at Ascot on a roll at the moment, James Bowen claiming seven, it'll be five pounds in a couple of days' time. Six is Mcthonic, Robbie Power, seven Capstad, Will Kennedy bidding to continue the good run of Ian Williams. Number eight and Bodo Man bidding to be the first horse since King of the Lot to win this race in consecutive years. And number nine is Rock on Rocky. Stan Shepherd claims the three pound allowance. Let's check out where they're going. Uh, four fences up the home straight and then the fence on the side of the race course. Ditch four from the finish, one down the hill, two up the straight, two miles for the Bet Victor handicap steeplechase. Let's go down to the market and map. I tell you what, Richard, for many it's the Irish that make Cheltenham so special. So let's have a look at the Powerball. Remember, of course, starts. Let's hand you to our commentator for the day, for the three days on ITV. Looking forward to this, Richard. Yeah, very much looking forward to the uh, three days. Robbie Supple's got his flag raised, still being led around is Rock on Rocky, who's been away from the others, as you mentioned, ever since we arrived down at the start. Starting point at the entrance to the home straight. Four plane fences up the home straight on the first circuit. Rock on Rocky, as you can see, being led forward. And they're off and racing, and Rock on Rocky's jumped away perfectly OK. So on towards the first of 13 fences. It is Festive Affair and the grey McThonic in the purple cap. Shanahan's turn red cap on the inside as they rise at fence number one. In fourth place, we have the green and yellow colours of Rock on Rocky. Exitas is in fifth in the chevrons of white and green as they head towards fence number two. McThonic jumped up well there. Exitas made a mistake. Joined by Kapstad on the inside, who jumped up well and is a little keen, as is Bo Roman towards the outside last year's winner, with Bright New Dawn, one from the back, and last of all is Do It for the Village. So racing up then towards fence number three, and Festive Affair leads the Grey McThonic towards this obstacle, and they're now back on the round course proper. So McThonic again jumps up well, Festive Affair, Kapstad's turn to make a, a slight error as they head on towards the fourth, which comes up pretty quickly. McThonic and Festive Affair over from Shanahan's turn, who's on the inside of Rock on Rocky. Exitas is in fifth place as they turn away. Capstad on the inside of Mbo Roman and Bright New Dawn fill the next three places and do it for the village is last of all. So on the old course, this is where there is an extra fence on this part of the circuit to the new. And McThonic, who's jumped exuberantly for Robbie Power, again really attacked that fence, took another length out of Festive Affair and will turn towards another plain one with an advantage of just over a length or so. McThonic just being reined back between fences. Rock on Rocky, Exitas and Shanahan's turn of the next trio with Capstad and Beau Roman. Bright new dawn and still at the back is do it for the village. McThonic again, very accurate at that. Shanahan's turn by contrast in fifth place, just pecked on landing there. As out in front, McThonic heads towards the water jump. Go water jump, open ditch and plain fence and seven of the 13 left to take. McThonic's got into a really good rhythm and leads by about four lengths. In second place, Festive Affair. Rock on Rocky up on the outside with Exitas. Shanahan's turn is in fifth. Exitas returned the three to one favorite. That time McThonic had to be just reined back and Exitas just gave that a little bit of a belt as well. Kapstad shows on the inside of the improving do it for the village in maroon and white and Beau Roman and Bright New Dawn. McThonic measures that okay. Shanahan's turning to the bottom of it again. That's also his second error of the race. It's Rock on Rocky who's moved through into second place as they'll now approach the open ditch at the top of the hill, four from the finish. McThonic leading from Festive Affair, but the field are tightly grouped. Rock on Rocky and Exitas next. Shanahan's turn out jumped by Do It for the Village, who's made smooth progress into fifth place in the maroon and white colours. Capstad comes next. Shanahan's turn is now two from the back. The back pair, Bright New Dawn and Unbo Roman. So the main body of the field bunching up behind the leader, McThonic as they turn downhill and quite a little run until they encounter the only fence on this part of the race course and then quite a sharp turn and two fences up the home straight so McThonic head of a wave of horses rock on rocky exitas all the time do it for the village improving towards the left hand side between fences Shanahan's turn trying to get back involved Capstad ridden along festive affair has lost a lot of ground and last of all is last year's winner and Bodo Man Capstad tries to make ground up the inside to pursue McThonic as they'll prepare to swing left-handed shortly. Exitas coming there quite strongly now in the black cap all the time. Do it for the village creeping into the race and this quartet are now away. Do it for the village.
which moves now to come through and press Kapstadt. Exitas is right, a glance to the right-hand side, as now McDonick has given his all. So do it for the village, Maroon and White, Kapstadt towards the far side, two from the finish, a big leap by do it for the village. For Paddy Brennan, who moves through the lead, Kapstadt in second place, then Exitas in fourth place, Rock on Rocky at the last, do it for the village is over. Kapstadt in second place, Exitas in third, Rock on Rocky and Bright New Dawn, do it for the village for Paddy Brennan, having a little look around out in front. In second place, Kapstadt trying to renew the effort, but do it for the village, travelled supremely well, steady ground throughout the final circuit, and will win for Paul Henderson. In second place, uh, behind these Kapstadt, then Exitas in fourth was Rock on Rocky, and behind those we had uh, the likes of Bright New Dawn, Mick Thonic, Shanahan's turn never really showed, and last of all, eventually, was Festive Affair. So Paul Henderson won this 12 months ago. On that occasion, it was with an Bodo man. He has repeated the feat with a different horse. Do it for the village, a smiling Paddy Brennan, beating Kapstadt into second place, improved steadily throughout the final circuit and held on well up the run-in for the second year in a row. This race goes.